प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधा शिवा सदे गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Okay, we continue reading from Shrimad Bhagavatam, Canto Seven, Chapter Ten. Does anyone remember the main point of yesterday? Hare Krishna. So Hare we heard. Krishna. Oh, Neha, you can read. It's okay, Ooh. Deepika. You can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can start. You can start. I did yesterday. You can do today. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So we just read that how. Uh... Uh, we got to know that a pure devotee does not have any debt to anybody or anything, like not to his ancestors or to rishis or to uh, parents or nobody. It, uh, devotee doesn't have because he surrendered at the lotus feet of Krishna. So uh, Lord Narasimha Dev is also telling Prahlad Maharaj to be an example that not everybody might be a devotee, and if he because he's going, he was going to be the king. So. He had to set the right example so that people will follow him because with great power comes great responsibility. And uh, we also saw that later, uh, even um, Brahma Ji was very happy to see uh, the face of Narasimha Dev smiling because he was really happy that uh, uh, Brahma Ji was very happy to see Narasimha Dev was satisfied and everything was good. And then um, Brahma Ji also, we also got to know that all these devtas are coming from um, Lord Krishna and that's why he's called Adi Purush and he's the cause of all causes and then uh, Narasimha Dev also said that you give uh, boons because he did a lot of penance and uh, austerity and then you gave boons so you should be very careful in giving boons he said to um, Brahmaji and then later there was this very important point that uh, the devotees are free from all the karma falas like uh, like how we saw the example of Prabhupada that because he was a pure pure devotee and he had three heart attacks but still he was uh, given a chance because he wanted to serve Krishna he wanted to spread Krishna consciousness throughout so Krishna takes care and uh, they are free and the, even the dead doesn't impact them. Krishna protects the devotee. Yeah, so that was and then we also got to know about the Dantavakra and everybody. We read about the three lives of Jay and Vijay and how Narad Muni uh, was telling uh, Yudhishthir Maharaj in the Ratsu Yagya and then how it was brought up here. So, yeah. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, we'll continue with today's text 39. Ena Purva Kritam Yatta. Ena Purva Kritam Yatta. Rajana Krishna Verinaha. Rajana Krishna Verinaha. Jahustin te tad atmana. Jahustin te tad atmana. Kita pesha skrito yatha. Kita pesha skrito yatha. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Samishla Prabhupada. Not only Shishupal and Dandavakar, but also many, many other kings who acted as enemies of Krishna attained salvation at the time of death. Because they thought of the Lord, they received spiritual bodies and forms the same as his, just as worms captured by a black drone obtain the same type of body as the drone. The mystery of yogic meditation is explained here. Real yogis always meditate on the form of Vishnu within their hearts. Consequently, at the time of death, they give up their bodies while thinking of the form of Vishnu and thus attain Vaikuntha Lok. Vaikuntha Lok, where they receive bodily features, the same as those of the Lord. From the sixth canto, we have already learned that when the Vishnu Dutas came from Vaikuntha 
to deliver Ajamil, they looked exactly like Vishnu with four hands and same features like Vishnu. So what kind, kind of liberation is this? Sayujya. Saru, sar, sarupya. 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 Yeah. yeah. Looking exactly like the Lord. Sarupya. Therefore, we may conclude that if one practices thinking of Vishnu and is fully absorbed in thinking of him at the time of death, one returns home back to Godhead. Even enemies of Krishna who thought of Krishna in fear, Bhai, such as King Kams, receive bodies in a spiritual identity similar to that of the Lord. So yesterday we were, we were talking about how the enemy also is getting purified. But what the devotee wants, he wants to have this loving reciprocation with Krishna. He wants to have a loving relationship with Krishna. He doesn't want only to look like the Lord or to have same opulence as the Lord or live on the same planet as the Lord. But he wants to have a very, very intimate, loving relationship with the Lord. A very sweet, very, very sweet relationship with the Lord. So the devotee wants that. Could be either as a servant or parent or friend or conjugal lover. But they're all very sweet because there is interaction between the Lord and the devotee. Okay. Yatha yatha bhagavato. Yatha yatha bhagavato. Bhaktiya paramaya vidha. By devotional service, pure devotees who incessantly think of the Supreme Personality of Godhead receive bodies similar to this, to his. This is known as Sarupya Mukti, although Shishupal, Dandavakar and other kings thought of Krishna as an enemy. They also achieved the same result. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, in connection with Lord Chaitanya's instructions to Sanatana Goswami, it is explained that a devotee should externally execute his routine devotional service in a regular way, but should always inwardly think of the particular mellow in which he is attracted to the service of the Lord. This constant thought of the Lord makes the devotee eligible to return home back to Godhead. So Shla Prabhupada is pointing out here Lord Chaitanya's instructions to Sanatan Goswami. They are mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita. So Lord Chaitanya is telling Sanatan Goswami, outwardly the devotee, he follows all the rules and regulations, all the do's and don'ts, uh, you know, follows all the all what is needed, and but internally, internally he is um, att attached to Krishna in a particular mellow, in a particular ras. So this, of course, is um, higher standard, higher stage. But yes, it is if anyone is able to do it outwardly, one has to follow all the all the chanting, all the rules, regulations, whatever are there. But internally, one is attached to Krishna in a particular mellow. Could be Dasya, Sakya, Vatsalya, Madhurya. The reason Madhurya is the highest, because all the other rasa are included in it. And Madhurya, Dasya, Sakya, Vatsalya, all are included because then the lover is taking care of Krishna, serving Krishna as a servant, serving Krishna as a friend, serving Krishna as a parent, and also serving Krishna as a lover. So that's why the Madhurya Ras is the most highest. So, because, like, for example, in service, there's only service, right? So in friendship, there's friendship and serving Krishna as a servant also. Then in parent, both are included. The earlier two are also included. Uh, service as a friend and service as a servant is also included. And in Madhurya, all three are included. 
So this constantly thinking of Krishna, it helps the devotee to go back home, back to Godhead. As stated in Bhagavad Gita 4.9, Tyaktva Deham Punarjanma Naiti Mameti, after giving up his body, a devotee does not again receive a material body, but goes back to Godhead and receives a spiritual body resembling those of the Lord's eternal associates whose activities he followed. So this is like Raganuga Bhakti. In Raganuga Bhakti, outwardly, one does that hearing, chanting, worshipping the deity, but inwardly they will follow a particular devotee in Vrindavan and follow in that mood because nobody can nobody can become that become somebody else. Uh, but that mood in which that devotee is serving Krishna. So one cultivates that mood. And of course, it needs expert guidance. It can't be done independently. It needs expert guidance of expert spiritual master, Raganuga Bhakti. So this is what it is of the eternal lords, eternal associates whose activities he followed. So somebody like has the mood of a friend, for example. So then one may say, okay, then I'm going to follow like Sridham or uh, Madhumanga or Subal and, you know, goes in that mood or even Lord Balaram and then is cultivating that mood internally. But it's not done independently. If we try to do it independently, it will cause havoc in our spiritual life. It needs very expert guidance from the bona fide spiritual masters, from the devotees. Okay. So however the devotee likes to serve the Lord, he may constantly think of the Lord's associates, the cowherd boys, the gopis, the Lord's father and mother, his servants and the trees, land, animals, plants and water in the Lord's abode. Because of constantly thinking of these features, one acquires a transcendental position. So, like we had heard in the story of uh, Prachina Barishat. Prachina Barishat was the king and Narad Mani was telling him the story of, what was her name? Puranjan. That how with the mind we are creating our next bodies, our thoughts. You know, we are creating our next bodies with that. So here, constantly thinking of Krishna, constantly thinking of the Brajbasis. We can create our own, uh, we can create a spiritual body for ourselves in the next life. We will get a spiritual body in the next life if we can think like that. Constantly thinking of Krishna and his devotees and Vrindavan and Yamuna and Govardhan and the cows and the birds and the peacocks and the deer and the gopas and the gopis. So because of constantly thinking of these features, one acquires a transcendental position. Kings like Shishupal, Dandavakar, Kamsapandraka, Narakasur and Shalva were all similarly delivered. This is confirmed by Madhvacharya, Pandrake, Narake, Cheva, Shalve, Kamsecha, Rukmini, Avish. Tas tu harir bhaktas, tad bhaktya harim apire, ondraka, narakasur, shalva, and kams were all inimical toward the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But because all these kings constantly thought of him, they achieved the same liberation, sarupya mukti, the gyan bhakta, the devotee who follows the path of gyan, also attains the same destination. If even the enemies of the Lord achieve salvation by constantly thinking about the Lord, what is to be said of pure devotees who always engage in the Lord's service and who think of nothing but the Lord in every activity? So Prabhupada is again putting this, you know, that even the enemies are getting liberation. What to speak about the devotee who wants to have a relationship with Krishna, who's serving Krishna. Krishna gives himself to that devotee. We see so many instances where Krishna has such 
a beautiful loving reciprocation with his devotees you know like shabri we know shabri and lord ramachandra and there are so many if you all remember any you all can say the loving reciprocation of krishna and his devotee uh, is it namdev Namdev, the Lord reciprocated with him, is it? I'm not sure of his past, this story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Kevat. I'm sorry? Kevat. Kevat. In the Lord. Oh, sir. The, the mm -hmm. one who took uh, Lord Ram and Sita and Lakshman across the river. So, Lord reciprocated with him. Mm. Because he said that, I want to wash your feet. Mm. I, I will not let you sit in my uh, boat because I've heard that you touch the feet of uh, stone and you make her and you converted her into a woman. So, because that he just wanted to wash the feet. So, mm. he said that and then he washed the feet and then Lord hugged her him and then he gave him his ring and so they had a loving reciprocation isn't mm. not yeah yeah i'm not sure so yeah thank you yeah thank you because i don't know this yes thank you so he was he was a tortoise he was a tortoise at the time of lakshmi ji and vishnu ji when they were lying he was a tortoise he just came and he wanted to touch the feet of lord but then Lakshmi ji just shushed him like, okay, okay, no, no, no. Like, like, you know how we just don't let. And then in this time, he came back and then he touched the feet of Lord Ram. Oh. Wow. Yeah, so there's like that so many pastimes of the Lord and his loving reciprocation with his devotees. Sneha, you wanted to speak of another pastime, is it? You were saying Namdev? No, I'm just thinking of the pastime of Namdev, no? Like, okay. Mm, okay. Like, yeah, the Lord would come to him whenever, like, you know, he, he would just surrender and, yeah. And he was a, he was a Maharashtrian saint. Mm. Yeah. He was a, what I remember, I don't remember any incident of his uh, reciprocating, but I remember that he was a very, very great devotee, exalted devotee. Of, and like of, he was Krishna. running, yeah, of Krishna. And he was running behind because a dog took his, he would not distinguish between any person and not even the animals. Yeah. He right. just uh, took, because he was, uh, he saw that one dog took his uh, chapati Roti. and then he was Sorry. running behind the dog. And then everybody was saying, what are you doing, Namdev? I mean, you are such a liberated person and you don't care about a chapati. You are running behind a dog. And then he said, no, no, I forgot to put the ghee. Because I wanted to put, because the chapati is not having ghee on it. Dog will not like it. It's so dry. That's why I'm running. So he was such an exalted devotee of Krishna. I'm not remembering any pastime like how... I'm surely, I'm sure that God yeah, must have reciprocated uh, with him because he was really pure devotee. So I'm not remembering any wow. past time now. I just remember this one, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, yeah. So the Lord and his devotees, they have this sweet reciprocation. Akhyatam sarvam etate. हरे सात्म्यम अपि द्विषाम
Everything you asked me about how Shishupal and others attained salvation, although they were inimical, has now been explained to you by me. Because Yudhishthir was saying, right, hey, what happened here? Shishupal is saying bad things to Krishna and Krishna is giving him liberation. What's happening? Esha Brahmanya Devasya. Esha Brahmanya Devasya. Krishnasya cha Mahatmanaha. Avatara Kathapunya Vado Yatra di Detia Yo Vado Yatra di Detia Yo. In this narration about Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, various expansions or incarnations of the Lord have been described. And the killing of the two demons, Hiranyaksha and Hiranyakashipu, has also been described. Avatars or incarnations are expansions of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, Govinda, Advaita, Machyuta, Manadi, Ananta, Rupam, Adhyam, Purana, Purusham, Navayovanamcha, Vedeshu, Durlabham, Adurlabham, Atma, Bhakta, Govinda, Mati, Purusham, Tam, Aham, Bajami. I worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead Govinda, who is the original person, non-dual, infallible, and without beginning. Although he expands into unlimited forms, he is still the original. And although he is the all oldest person, he always appears as a fresh youth. Such eternal, blissful, and all-knowing forms of the Lord cannot be understood by the academic wisdom of the Vedas but they are always manifest to pure, unalloyed devotees. Brahma Samhita 533, Lord Brahma is telling us about the how the Lord has so many incarnations. Uh, they are his expansions. And yet, Lord is one. You know, it doesn't mean that because the Lord expands into incar so many incarnations that he doesn't exist himself. He still exists. Father may have many children, but the father is still there, right? So that's Govinda. He's the original. He's oldest. Original person, he's the oldest, yet he looks like a young, young boy. Nava Yovana. Fresh youth. And they're all Satchidananda. The Lord's forms are they are Satchit Ananda. So one may try to understand the Lord by study of Vedas, but one will get confused. One needs a pure devotee. By the mercy of the devotee one will be able to understand Krishna. Just like we have textbook. But then we need teacher to teach the text. So the Brahma Samhita describes the avatars. Indeed all the avatars are described in the authentic scriptures. No one can become an avatar or incarnation. Although this has become fashionable in the age of Kali. So you know, nobody can become an avatar. Nobody can become an incarnation. Incarnation is an incarnation. An expansion of God is expansion of God. Nobody can become that. And Prabhupada is saying it's become fashionable. It's true. But only God is God. Only his incarnation is his incarnation. The avatars are described in the authentic scripture, Shastras. And therefore, before one risks act. Accepting a pretender as an avatar, one should refer to the Shastras. The Shastras say everywhere that Krishna is the original personality of Godhead and that he has innumerable avatars or incarnations. So, all the incarnations they are mentioned in the scriptures, in the revealed scriptures, the Shastras. So, we can verify uh, in the scriptures. Lord Chaitanya is also mentioned in the scriptures. So many scriptures Lord Chaitanya has mentioned, also mentioned in Bhagavatam. So elsewhere in the Brahma Samhita it is said, Rama Adi Murti Shu Kala Niyamein Atishthan Rama Nishima Varaha and many others are consecutive expansions of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Lord Brahma is saying that that Lord Ramachandra Lord Nishinga Dev Lord Varaha they are all incarnations of Krishna. They are expansions of Krishna. After Krishna comes Balaram. After Balaram is Sankarshan. Then Anirudh, Pradyumna, Narayan. 
and then the purusha avatars mahavishnu garva dakshay vishnu and shiro dakshay vishnu all of them are avatars so krishna is the original form of god then krishna first expands as lord balaram lord balaram expands as sankarshan and then we have anirudh pradyumna narayan so this is the chaturvyuha right chaturvyuha then we have the second chaturvyuha then come the purusha avatars the purusha avatars are mahavishnu garbha dakshay vishnu shiro dakshay vishnu one must hear about the avatars narrations about such avatar are called avatar katha the narrations of krishna's expansions hearing and chanting these narrations is completely pious shrinvatam swakatha krishna punya shravana kirtana one who hears and chants can become punya purified of material contamination so this is not ordinary punya it's not ordinary material pious activity it is spiritual activity spiritual punya hearing about krishna and his incarnations hearing and chanting about the lords avatars their past times the incarnations we get purified our material contamination goes and we get spiritual credit spiritual punya shanvatam swakatha krishna punya shravana kirtana whenever there are references to the avatars religious principles are established and demons who are against krishna are killed the krishna consciousness movement is spreading all over the world with two aims to establish krishna as the supreme personality of godhead and to kill all the pretenders who falsely present themselves as avatars so in the mood of lord krishna krishna says right he dis- he descends to reestablish religious principles to and highlight the miscreants so in that mood shla prabhupad is saying two aims to establish that krishna is god make it known that krishna is god and to make it known that the the the, the pretenders who are presenting themselves false, falsely as avatars the preachers of the krishna consciousness movement must carry this conviction very carefully within their hearts and kill the demons who in many tactful ways vilify the supreme personality of godhead krishna well it doesn't mean literally you know it is by giving hari naam sankirtan by giving by letting everyone chant hari krishna that's how we kill the demon in this age of kali when lord chaitanya was taking out the sudarshan chakra to kill jagai madai lord nityananda say hey what you're doing like this you're going to kill everyone and you came to give love of god to everyone so by spreading this krishna consciousness movement by engaging everyone in hearing and chanting we can transform not only ourselves but also others transforming our hearts okay krishna okay if we take shelter of nishima dev and prahlad maharaj it will be easier to kill the demons who are against krishna and to thus reestablish krishna's supremacy krishna is to bhagwan swayam krishna is the supreme lord the original lord Pralad Maharaj is our guru, and Krishna is our worshipable God. As advised by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krish, Guru Krishna Prasad Epai Bhakti Lata Bej, if we can be successful in getting the mercy of Pralad Maharaj, and also that of Nishima Dev, then our Krishna consciousness movement will be extremely successful. Every day we are singing prayers to Lord Nishinga Dev to help us in our spiritual life. to help us protect our devotional service and to protect this movement so mercy of guru and krishna mercy of pralad maharaj mercy of lord nishinga dev is needed the demon aranya kashipu had so many ways to try to become god himself but all the pralad maharaj was chastised and threatened in many ways he rigidly refused to accept his powerful demoniac father as god following in the demo- in the footsteps of pralad maharaj we should reject all the rascals who pretend to be god we must accept krishna and his incarnations and no one else so because there may be pressure there may be pressure from community society family 
but it's of a tradition. It's, you know, that's how it's been done. That's how it's been done in our family. That's how it's done in our community. That's a tradition that is to follow. But Shila Prabhupada is saying we should be clear that Krishna is God uh, and also explain this to others, give others. By following the devotees like Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj, his father was forcing him, tormenting him. If you don't listen to me, I'll kill you. He actually tried to kill him so many times. But Prahlad was like, the Supreme Lord is my worshipable Lord. Didn't give in at all. Comments? Questions? Anything to add? So this is about, uh, we are hearing the narration of uh, Lord Narsimadev as a sacred uh, katha, right? Spiritual punya. And yes. hearing from, yeah, hearing from uh, the scriptures. Yes. We, yeah, okay, got it. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Praharadasyanu charitam. Praharadasuna charitam. Mahabhagavatasya cha. Mahabhagavatasya cha. Bhaktir gyanam viraktis cha. Bhaktir gyanam viraktis cha. Yatharthayam chasya vehare. Sargastiti apya yeshasya. Sargastiti apya yeshasya. Guna karmanu varnanam. Guna karmanu varnanam. Paravare sham stananam. Paravare sham stananam. Kalina Vyatya Yomahan. Kalina Vyatya Yomahan. This narration describes the characteristics of the great and exalted devotee Prahlad Maharaj, his devo staunch devotional service, his perfect knowledge, and his perfect detachment from material contamination. It also describes the Supreme Personality of Godhead as the cause of creation maintenance and annihilation. Prahlad Maharaj in his prayers has described the transcendental qualities of the Lord and has also described how the various abodes of the demigods and demons, regardless of how materially opulent, are destroyed by the mere direction of the Lord. Srimad Bhagavatam is filled with descriptions of the characteristics of various devotees with reference to the service of the Lord. This Vedic literature is called Bhagavatam because it deals with the Supreme Personality of Godhead and His devotee. By studying Srimad Bhagavatam under the direction of the bona fide spiritual master, one can perfectly understand the science of Krishna, the nature of the material and spiritual worlds, and the aim of life. Okay, Bhagavatam, why is this called Bhagavatam? this great literature, because it deals with the Supreme Lord and His devotee. That's why it's called Bhagavatam. Now, Bhagavatam has all, all, it's about devotees of Krishna, incarnations of Krishna, Krishna Himself. So, here Prabhupada is saying, by studying Bhagavatam under the guidance of a devotee, then one can understand the science of Krishna. One can understand, I'm <clears throat> sorry, what is the material world, the spiritual world, and also the aim of life. Srimad Bhagavatam Amalam Puranam. Srimad Bhagavatam is the spotless Vedic literature, as we have discussed in the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam. Therefore, simply by understanding Srimad Bhagavatam, one can understand the science of the activities of the devotees, the activities of the demons the permanent abode and the temporary abode through Srimad Bhagavatam, everything is perfectly known. 
So, Bhagavatam, a spotless Puran, because there's nothing, nothing material in Bhagavatam. Is transcendental, spiritual, all about devotional service, about devotees, about God, his relationship with his devotees. Your Prahlad Maharaj is, he has understood that this material world is temporary. He understood his father was so great that he had conquered everyone. You know, we read, we read, like how everyone was so happy, the Gandharvas, Kinaras, the different, different personalities were coming. And they were saying, thank you, Lord Nishingadev, that you killed Hiranyakashipu. He had like really troubled us so much. So he was so powerful, so opulent. Yet Lord Nishingadev killed him in a moment. So, so temporary over here. And Prahlad Maharaj's prayers are really so much knowledge. There's so much philosophy there. Dharmo Bhagavata Namcha. Dharma Bhagavata Namcha Bhagavan Yena Gamyate Bhagavan Yena Gamyate Akhyane Smin Sam Mam Natam Akhyane Smin Sam Natam Adhyat Mikam Asheshata Adhyat Mikam Asheshata principles of religion by which one can actually understand the supreme personality of Godhead are called Bhagavad Dharma. In this narration, therefore, which deals with these principles, actual transcendence is properly described. So Bhagavad Dharma, it is the Bhagavad Dharma, religious principle by which we can understand Bhagwan, the Supreme Lord. Through the principles of religion, one can understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Brahman, the impersonal feature of the Supreme Lord, and Paramatma, the localized aspect of the Lord. When one is well conversant with all these principles, he becomes a devotee and performs Bhagavad Dharma. Prahlad Maharaj, the spiritual master in the line of disciplic succession, advised, that this Bhagavad Dharma be instructed to students from the very beginning of their education. Kaumara Acharit Pragyo Dharman Bhagavatan Iha. To understand the science of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the real purpose of education. Shavanam Kirtanam Vishnu. One must simply hear about and describe Lord Vishnu and his various incarnations. This, incarna this narration concerning Prahlad Maharaj and Lord Nishimadev therefore has properly described spiritual transcendental subjects bhagavad dharma uh, to understand the lord by hearing and chanting that is real education this is what prahlad maharaj is telling us he is our teacher he is a guru he is saying shavanam kirtanam vishnu he say, he said this verse hear about the lord chant his glories Hmm. Comments, questions? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, uh, actually, I am just curious to know like, why Prahlad Maharaj started his uh, praying Vishnu from his ch childhood? Because we learn a lot. Like uh, about Dhru Maharaj and other devotees also. Like after rejection or there is some hurt or pain or some reason they become devotees later on. But Prahlad mm -hmm. Maharaj, uh, from the beginning of his life, even he born in a demon family, why why he started? Is there mm -hmm. his previous life? Uh, it will be heard that he heard this spiritual knowledge from Narad Muni when he was in the womb of his mother. When he was inside the womb of his mother, he heard the Bhagavad Dharma, knowledge about the Supreme Lord. He heard about devotional service. He he got, he heard this transcendental knowledge. And he heard with great attention and he followed it. And that's how he became a pure devotee. Because he followed the instructions of his guru. Mm. And uh, 
like uh, what was Prahlad Maharaj in his previous life? Is there some connection? Because just now you asked one question. Uh, Neha was telling about the Kavat. So is there some rebirth of Prahlad Maharaj related with their past life? I'm not sure if there is. I, okay, I don't okay. know about it. Yeah. Okay. Because Bhagavatam, okay. we didn't read anything about it. And in Bhagavatam, we just heard that he was in the womb of his mother and he heard, although he is the, he's born in a demon family, he heard the spiritual knowledge from his teacher, Narad Muni, and he became a great devotee. So yeah, I'm not sure of his previous life. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank and, you. And Narad Muni is not uh, Pralat Mata's, Pralat Maharaj's uh, mother's guru, right? He just came like that, huh? right? Yeah, because the demigods were going to kill. Yeah, the demigods so had just taken came. her. Yeah. Right. Mm. And she appealed to him, save me. So, and he was mm. telling them that don't kill this child. There's a pure devotee there in this womb. There's a Mahabhagavat in there. He was telling Indra. So, yeah, that's that's what we're hearing from Bhagavatam. About Prahlad Maharaj. I like this line to understand the signs of the Supreme Personality of God. It is the real purpose of education. Right? Otherwise, mm -hmm. what we are thinking, right? Education is uh, we think we get a degree or something that's education, but real education. Understand signs of supreme personality. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes my daughter said, like, why we are doing and we are struggling with our like a goal or have to be doctor or engineer or some great things. So better to read these books. <laughs> she gets it, huh? Wow. <laughs> and see, read regularly, regularly. But very good. Sometimes two slokas or sometimes one slokas, like she used to. Very good, very good. So you can tell her, become a good doctor for Krishna, spread Krishna consciousness. We should have some goal because of Krishna. It's not that the Bhagavad Gita says everything and read the Bhagavad Gita, read the Bhagavad Gita, read the Gita, read the Bhagavad 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 Gita. Yeah, you have yeah. to do your prescribed duties. <laughs> yes, yes. and uh, and also like uh, go with the spirituality also. So people yes. will learn like he is so big doctor, hai, but he still pray Lord Krishna, and maybe motivate. They will motivate with your uh, like uh, yeah. uh, service. So we can do that. So I am saying. So we are saying. So we are saying. So we are saying. So we are saying. So we नहीं पर उसको एनकरेज करो एनकरेज करो मैं करती हूँ मैं नहीं वो खुद मुझे इनकरेज करती है मम्मी दिस ऑल मैटेरियलिस्टिक थिंग्स आर जस्ट यूजलेस मनी एंड एवरीथिंग देर इज नो नीड हम लोग ऐसे खाली हाथ आए हैं खाली हाथ जाएंगे अगर माइंड में कुछ अच्छा रहेगा तो एट द लास्ट मोमेंट विल लाइक रिमेम्बर कृष्णा तो दैट इज द गोल कि उनको याद करना है हमेशा याद करना है तो वो मुझे सिखाती है मैं उसको मैं तो फ्रस्ट्रेट हो जाती हूँ कभी कभी वेरी गुड वेरी गुड इमेजिन ना द चाइल्ड्स या अंडरस्टैंडिंग रियलाइजेशन ना सो गुड या इसका है मैं देखती हूँ और आप बताते हो तो दैट टाइम शी इज़ गोइंग टू रेडी फॉर स्क� कुछ कुछ स्टोरी को कृष्णा बुक एंड कुंती बुक से वो पढ़ती है तो उसको और कुछ देखती है यूट्यूब करती है करती है चैंटिंग मेरे बच्चे दोनों करते हैं चैंटिंग बट ओनली वन राउंड ओके वेरी गुड टाइम नहीं रहता ना वेरी गुड वो मतलब
बहुत अच्छा अभी हम सुना ना कि अंडरस्टैंडिंग कृष्णा इज रियल एजुकेशन तो इनकरेज करते रहो उनको वेरी गुड ठीक है सो वी विल स्टॉप हियर फॉर टुडे श्रीमद भागवतम की जय श्री प्रभुपाद की जय गौर भक्त वृंद की